child of mystery. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government shall rest on his shoulders, and he shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Imagine with me for a moment that you are a Jewish leader listening to Isaiah declaring these prophetic words. Most likely you were in Babylonian exile as the message is declared. And you long to hear about the coming Messiah. But the message? A child? You probably like to hear about the government resting on the Messiah's shoulders. But then there follows a list of characteristics of this child which could only refer to God himself. The leader must have wondered if Isaiah had had a bad dream or at least a poor connection with the Holy Spirit and got the message totally messed up. After all, the rabbis taught that a political leader would arise who would lead a revolt and allow the Jewish people to overthrow their conquerors, their oppressors. So this message must have been confusing to say the least. And at worst, the leaders must have scoffed at Isaiah's prophecy. It made no sense to them. You can imagine them debating these words for hundreds of years, attempting to make sense of the prophecy. A child born, a son given, and then Isaiah jumps into this person overseeing government. As time continued to march and no evidence even providing the slightest fulfillment of these words, the mystery must have become muddled, doubted, even denied. But God does not make mistakes. He is not confused, nor was Isaiah confused. He had heard God correctly and declared the prophecy with clarity and confidence. Of course, you and I have the advantage of living on the other side of the cross. The Messiah has come, and his name is Jesus. We now know that he came not as a political figure, but as a baby born in a manger in Bethlehem. And we now know that he was truly man and fully God. He certainly came to deliver his people, but not from a political adversary, but from our sins. There are still things we have not seen fulfilled in this prophecy. One day yet, in the future millennium, Jesus will govern in perfect righteousness. Oh, for that day. God could have sent a man, a perfect man like Adam before the fall, or God could have sent an angel. But in the words of Bible commentator David Guzik, in reality, neither of those options would have qualified the Messiah to be our Savior and High Priest as Jesus was. The Son had to be given. In the ancient culture, a name was more than just something you called someone. The name signified the character of the person. And what amazing names this mystery child would be given. Wonderful. Oh, how our Savior should fill our hearts today with wonder. Counselor. Who but Jesus is fit to guide us through this difficult journey called life. Mighty God. This name signified that this mystery child was no ordinary child. This child 
would bear the same name as God himself. And of course, we today recognize him as the second person of the Trinity. Everlasting Father. Jesus is our creator, the author of eternity. And finally, Prince of Peace, the one who secures our peace with God. Oh, what a mystery child was prophesied. And of course, we today know this child as the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Thank you, dear Father, for sending us this mystery child. 